what's going on everybody Kwaku here back with another video today i have for you a pretty meaty app review it is on the newly updated and redesigned voice recorder which is now called sound recorder on windows and uh it is a different one. It pretty much addresses a lot of the criticisms of the past of it not being allowed to change the uh, the microphone easily, having to go all the way into the Windows settings to change things to, in order to use it, uh, basically the microphone in general. But there's a lot of different changes in it. And so right here, before I even go into the app this time, I am going to go into first here, the blog post that was posted about yesterday. Yep, yesterday, May 11th, and then I'll go into the store entry. So here on the blog post, it says here that we're excited to preview the new sound recorder from Windows 11 with insiders on the dev channel. So you do have to be on the Windows Insider program on the dev channel to gain access to this. And in order to gain access to it, all you really have to do is, in fact, go over to your library and check for updates, and that's about it. Or even just search for a voice recorder, and then this will show up. This is still the old name, unfortunately. And then you just hit uh, update if you already have voice recorder installed, and it'll update to it because it'll automatically detect that this account is on the Insider program. And that's it. The voice recorder will be named this until it gets out of preview because for normal people, this is what they see on the store, which is Windows Voice Recorder. Now. Going into the blog post, it says here there is some new visual visual. There's new visualization uh, for audio on recording, so you can see like the sound waves look different. It's not just that circle uh, with like the pulsating circle when you talk. It's now finally normal sound waves in the more fluent design. Um, and then obviously you can change your microphone, and they want feedback as usual. So there's a lot of there's a few different things. I guess it's not very meaty, but there's a few different things inside it. So now, without further ado, let's go into it. So if I just hit open, I already have it updated. In fact, uh, if you are on the Insider program and you have this voice recorder installed, um, the moment you try to open up your the old voice recorder, it'll say it's doing an update automatically. You won't be able to just opt out for it as far as I can tell. It automatically updates the moment you open up the application. And I will tell you one thing. This is what I used to use uh, for these videos when I would do the camera faces. I would use, I would record the camera. In fact, sometimes I still do. I record the camera uh, on the side and then I would use the voice recorder here to actually do the audio with this microphone that I'm talking to. But it was so convoluted because I would go, I would have to go then to settings and then I would have to do a whole bunch of extra things in order to change my input device to the microphone because Windows likes to reset the mic and it was just such a mess. Now I can simply just use this and change it to whatever I want or then I can go into settings and change it to whatever I want, which of course I'm not going to do. Um, in fact, with this video, what I'll probably do is since I don't know if it'll cut out my audio if I hit record. I'll record um, just so that way you guys can see the waveform, uh, but you may not hear it unless I insert the clip. So let's try it out real quick. I'm gonna record, I'm using my normal microphone, the Scarlett Solo. Let's find out. It says, let voice recorder or sound recorder, I still call it voice recorder, access your microphone. You can change this later, let's say okay. All right, so you can see the peaking right there of what's going on and it's really quiet. And then it goes pretty loud and uh, it looks good. And then you can even pause it. And then I can talk more like this. So you can see the waveform how it was when I was talking. Uh, and then if I want to continue, I can just hit this button right here, which is not red anymore. It's now green or now just like see through. And then it continues to exactly what I'm saying. So it's pretty amazing. You can even mark in the area. Let's say you want to keep an eye for that area and then you can hit end. It's pretty nice. So you can kind of jump to things um, pretty easily. You can share it, you can rename it. So if I want to say, uh, call this test. I can rename it just like that. Uh, I'm wondering if, yep, I can show in folder. So if I want to see the folder that it ends up in, that's another thing that the old voice recorder did not do is I had to actually know where things were saved. Uh, at least I think that's what I had to do, uh, which I already knew. And then from there I had to put it in. It was actually in this directory already. Um, so now it's easy access to get to it. You just click the drop down, rename it, pick whatever you want. And it's already renamed to test. In fact, I'm curious. What happens if I rename it while the file is still there? Let's type it, let's do test 11, renamed as the file rename. Yes, it automatically changes. In fact, let's do, go a little step further and rename it on the fly so you guys can see it. Test 112. Yep, it automatically updates the name of the file in your file explorer, which is pretty amazing. I gotta say, it's it's just a tiny attention to detail. I know it's not a big thing to a lot of people, but it's just something small that I noticed. Uh, down here, you can mark, so you can mark chapters, mark reporting. 
you can set your playback speed so when i'm playing back you can set that i'm not going to play back in this see your markers so you can see oh you want to jump to this area you can do that so let's say i'm down here and i want to jump to my markers and i want to jump to here it jumps straight to there just before it um another thing too let's go to settings too there's a whole lot of things here um one thing i really love about this one even though it's still in preview so it's not fully out yet for anybody except for insiders is now you can change the recording format so if you like different recording formats m4a mp3 wma flac dot uh, wav um your audio you can set the audio quality to whatever you want i always just pick the best quality because i have a lot of storage and i don't see the point in having a low bit rate for audio um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what the bit rate will be because it's very basic, but I just picked the highest quality for the larger file size. And then you can pick between light without having to restart the app. And in fact, I'll show you right here. This is how light mode looks. It kind of hurts my eyes, honestly. And then if I go back in, I can go to dark, which is what I'm doing. And then I can hit system setting, which is what it was. And that's kind of rever reverting it back to normal. So that's in a nutshell, that's what that is. Let's hit import file. And let's say, in fact, I don't really have a file to type. So let me let me do a test real quick. Let me let me record something random. All right. So I recorded um, I recorded basically a whole new thing. And if I refresh it, it pops in. But basically, I recorded this here, which I made a copy of in my file explorer right here, just to see what would happen if I uh, removed it. And when I removed it, lo and behold, what happened was it actually said, hey, we're missing something. So if I hit copy for this one. And then I hit just, I just go to delete and it's gone. And then I just simply go to see, it says right there, it says some files and the list have changed. Do you want to refresh the list? If I hit refresh, it automatically deletes things because I deleted it in the file explorer. That's pretty interesting. And then now let's see what happens if I paste it from, let's go to my, like my pictures library right here. And then I'm going to paste it in pictures. So this file is no longer located in that because I deleted it. So in fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna copy 1112 test. If I can copy it, there we go. I'm gonna copy 1112 test and I'm gonna paste it in a different folder. All right, and then I'm gonna go to import file and then I'm gonna go to pictures, go to 1112 test, open, and then it opens up automatically. So you can import files, MP3 files or whatever like format files back into it. Um, I don't believe you can modify the files. I don't see any kind of way to edit, so I guess one thing that I would say, yep, I don't see anything way to edit audio, but except for record it. So one thing I could say to critique it, to close the video then, is I would say that going forward with this application, Microsoft, you're on a good track record for it so far. You're on a good, you're on a roll with it. It's pretty good so far. It's simple. However, I would love a way to cut my audio or even click and drag my audio, like start mark in by right clicking a section and then right click another area to mark out and then maybe right click the center area of it to create a sub clip and just or be able to cut audio basically a way for me to edit the audio i would love a simple way to be able to, like i want to increase the decibels maybe by just dragging the middle line up and down to increase decibels and it'll tell me with the little tool tip how many decibels it is or just right clicking it to increase decibels i would love that um marking in and out I like the markers so far with the chapters, pretty much simple markers, but maybe you might want to change this name to something else. But marking in and out is something I really want from it so I can create sub clips and stuff. That'd be pretty cool for just simple editing for audio and seeing your decibel level and things like that. That'd be simple things like that is all I would want from it. Nothing crazy. But yeah, other than that, it's so far so good. I know it's in preview, so you can't really do a review on it, but I'll probably call it a review anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this new version of the sound recorder slash voice recorder on Windows. This one is on Windows 11. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.